I'm really excited about today. I'm going to show you how to make a little um, gift tags and how you can make them in black and white and then either color them in with pencils, markers, or watercolors. And it's handmade. The kids can do it. It's something that adds a little bit of um, personal um, it, it'll add it'll make your little gift personalized because the kids can make the tags or you can yourself and they can you know go ahead and put that on their gifts um i was going to start the video out with like five different ways of making gift tags but when i got into this it really took more time than i expected so i'm only doing that one this time but i am going to make other videos about how to make other tags if you want something a little bit fancier again this was really fun and it's something that you can even if you're really creative it's also something you can put on etsy i thought of that after i did it i thought oh what a great product to put on etsy a something that you can download sell it you never have to look at it again and people will buy it so again it's another way to make money and you have fun and you're getting your gifts out of the way as well so you got all kinds of um, things you're getting off your list the first thing we're going to do is head over to canva.com and you're going to go up where it says create a design and you can type in gift tag or holiday gift tag it really doesn't matter what it's going to do is take you to a template um, it'll give you the right size for nice size um, gift tag and then it'll give you some templates that you can use and templates are there so that you can change the words swap out pictures and things like that and sometimes you may end up redoing the whole thing but it gives you an idea of the layout so that's what i love about the templates that they really help you get your thoughts together well one of the things that i wanted to do was make gift tags um, i was giving uh, jars of honey to some of my um, teacher friends that i work with we're having a meeting in a couple of weeks and I wanted to make some gift tags that in white that I can print off on some stock paper and then get some watercolor and colored and colored in because I don't have a colored printer so basically what I did I looked at all of these first I'm going to show you how to make others as well but I want you to uh, see what I did on the colored ones just to give you an idea so since I have the size I decided to go to elements and just look for um, outline of holly and see what would come up on either way but I, I like this one here and this one here happens to be part of the pro account but there are others uh, if it doesn't have this little crown next to it then they're free and you can use those as well i'm going to take advantage of that because that's the one i want and then i'm going to make a copy of it i just hit well first i'm going to make it the size i want it and so that both of them are the same size then I'm going to hit control C control V now I want this one to be up in that corner and I love this feature flip I'm gonna first flip it horizontally and as you can see I want those berries up in the corner so now I'm gonna flip it vertically and it fits perfectly right there in the corner now each of them in my mind I wanted the holly to be like turned just a little bit so you just click it again and you can turn it see that and get it to where just where you want it I want it um, facing in a little bit more and that's the part that I'm going to watercolor and fill in the color now I looked around it's just a gift tag so at the top I'll leave room and just put the person's name and put it from me at the bottom but I wanted to put um, rejoice always on there something short something sweet and so I went to back to the templates and I just looked for the font that I want they do have font here if you go under text but I'm starting to realize when I there's not a lot of font in here that catches my eye or I feel like I'm using the same thing all the time so I started going to elements and or templates excuse me and on the templates you can see all kinds of different fonts and find the one that resonates with you so I'm going to find one in here now I found one here where this says holidays and I went ahead and brought it in but I'm going to show you what I did but I didn't want to put this on film in case it didn't work but I brought it over on a second page and you really have to go in and delete everything until you can catch what you want and then I'm going to show you how I can bring that down to another page and see how it's brown I went up here changed the color to black because again I'm not coloring it and then I just um, put the words that I want it and then so they're both the same size then you just copy 
and then put rejoice always. So I'm going to show you up here. I don't want you to have to go through all that. Um, but that's what I ended up with. Now I have to take it a step further so that I can print them off. So the next thing I had to do was save this. So you're going to download it, hit the share and hit your download button. Um, like you've done in the past and then it's going to go to your desktop. So now I'm going to bring you, I took it off the desktop and I went to a Word document, as you can see here, and I simply just copied and pasted it in. So there's four copies there, and I can get some more. So to keep it so that I can move it around and it doesn't go flying, you wanna go under wrap text and hit tight, and that pretty much stops it from overlapping when you copy it, because watch what happens here. I'm gonna hit copy, and, and I got three more coming. I actually need eight of these, but I don't know if I'm going to get eight on a page. Here's another one. I don't think I will. Oh, I might. Yeah, I think I will. Perfect. All right, we're going to get one more. Hit that again. And then I'm going to print it off onto, it's not quite stock paper. Um, I've made cards before, and it's like a thicker parchment paper type, that thickness. But it's white. It's not... Uh, a bone color and I'm just going to print these on there. Um, of course I want to make sure they're a little bit even so that when I cut with my paper cutter or my scissors whichever that I'm not too far off on size. Now something else that you could have done that I didn't think of until now is you could have outlined each one with a square. Go back to Canva put a square around them and then that way that'll help you with your cutting so i think that would have been a great idea and to do that you want to go back up here to elements and just type in frame okay <laughs> that took me forever the, the thing with these squares is sometimes they won't fit like this one was a rectangle and it went ahead and fit for me like it blew up to the right size but sometimes they won't do that so basically I only wanted this to help me with cutting so that when I cut, I can have those there. So I'm gonna leave for a minute and redo that page that I had and I'm gonna put the lines back in for the cutting so that you can see what that looks like. And then I'll go ahead and print them, I'll cut them and I'll show you the, the final result as well. All right, so I took this paper here. It's um, actually like a drawing paper, and I had to cut the side off to be able to get it through the printer. So I just want to let you know. I couldn't remember, like, what I have. I used to scrapbook and stuff, but it's a drawing paper. Um, you can get it at Walmart or whatever. But anyway, here is how this ended up. I went ahead and watercolored it, the green and the red, and it came out really cute. What watercolors? I just had some laying around from when my kids were little. Little paintbrush <laughs> doesn't spoil. It's been there for years. So it's nice to have a crap room. I mean a craft room. Um, you can come back one day and use all that stuff. So this is the little, I went ahead and made two, but I, I took it, um, cut it out, punched a hole in it, and I'm either gonna use red ribbon to tie it, or you can use some jute and any of the stuff you can get in the craft. But I would walk around the house and look for stuff. You may have some string or an old shoelace that you could cut the ends off and just use it if it's, you know, just, it's a gift. It's a homemade gift. But your kids would really enjoy doing this. I don't have any kids at home to help me make it, but I'm using those as gifts uh, to put on uh, jars of honey. Like I was saying, um, my husband works for the Amish and we got a whole bunch of jugs of honey and I'm going to give those out as part of my gifts this year. So it's a practical gift. I'm into practical gifts at my age, but um, I hope you enjoyed making that. I'm going I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up if that was a good one for you and you have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.